Hey guys, today I am so excited to bring you the July Dolly Finds um, video. I've got so much to share with you and it's from a couple of different places. So my usual kind of Etsy uh, scoping for cool new stuff and then um, a surprise for one of my very best friends, Catherine, and stuff from Puddle. So even though I did not go to the Pull-Up and Dow Lovers Convention, uh, I did have a couple of friends do some shopping for me because I can't help myself. Um, so I do want to show you all of these, but the first thing I wanted to show you is a present that I got from my friend Art. So this weekend is Comic-Con weekend. I have a couple of friends staying with me, and this is one of the things that he got me. It's this cute little handmade, it's these dolls. They're connected together, and it's by an Etsy shop called Sakotra. And I just think they're so amazing. They're hand painted and there's felt and they're so adorable. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. I think I'm gonna try to like hang it up on my uh, bulletin board here, but let me get out of the way so you can see my lineup of gals here. All right, so I have two adorable dowels on the end there and the, the outfits that they're wearing, including that tiny little bunny and the little sailor dress uh, that I, I couldn't find another perfect doll to put them on. This is from an Etsy shop I found called Vicey Lee Couture. Uh, this was something that kind of jumped out of nowhere. It is a US based Etsy seller. Very, very affordable. I think some of these pieces were like seriously $8, $8 US. Um, I did notice because I like to be honest, they're not completely perfect. The little um, overalls, those little cute bibs that she's wearing, my Dalcanta. Um, one of the legs is noticeably longer than the other. I mean, with shoes, it doesn't really matter, but it's just those type of things that I think maybe this is a newer seller or somebody who's just kind of getting to know uh, doll clothes. And I just love uh, finding new sellers. And so next to my dolls there, I've got my custom beautiful uh, girl from Dolls My. Now, I, I believe I already did a video of her, but she is wearing this amazing little uh, rabbit ear uh, barrette that came from Puddle and it was a new vendor called Craftineered. And I think that this head, this little headpiece was like the, the bell of the ball. I think a lot of people were buying them. I do believe they were fairly affordable. It's so unique. So I'm so glad to, to see this new vendor. She's also wearing a necklace and this was a new one as well. It's Shelby Sawyer. Uh, and I think this is someone who has their own shop. This was, again, a puddle find that one of my friends picked up for me. And it's just this beautiful little crystal necklace. All right, so my blondie uh, next to her is wearing a dress by Ropitas Kawaii. This is a pretty established seller, pretty affordable dresses. I don't remember where the shop is located. I also think I've, I've featured this uh, artist before. This was a dress that was a gift from my friend Art and I love the decal. I love that little outline of the cute girl on the front of the dress. All right, so the next two gals, I have my um, Dal Frara and my beautiful custom by Mikiochi. Now these two girls are wearing dresses uh, by Persnickety Pixie. I know you've heard me mention that shop before. It's one of my favorites. Um, Leah, who is the, um, the proprietor of Persnickety P Pixie, is super talented. She makes eye chips and all kinds of different dresses. And these two were also puddle uh, specials. All right, so next to her is my custom Nanette, and she's in a gorgeous, drop-dead gorgeous kimono uh, with the little hair piece from my friend Gochi. And this is Gochi Crafts. I don't know if Gochi has a Etsy shop, but she does have a wonderful Instagram featuring a lot of her pieces. And this is going to be a giveaway for our um, Dolly Meetup, which is happening like in an hour. Ah, exciting. All right, so my blue haired gal next to her is wearing a dress by Darling Clover. I am obsessed with Darling Clover, if you didn't already know that. This was a piece that was sold at Puddle and if you did attend Puddle, you know that um, Darling Clover was not able to make it at the last minute, but she was super cool about meeting with the people who attended uh, to, to just sell her stuff very quickly before she had to, I think, go out of town. So I'm very, very lucky to get this piece. Oh, it's so pretty. I think 
it's a two piece. All right, and then I have two dolls here on the end. They're both full custom dolls. Uh, the Yolame, this was a huge surprise for me last night. My friend Art, like, you know, he's, he's in town and he's staying with me and he gifted me with this gorgeous girl from Magdalena's Dolls. Uh, I had seen on Facebook this artist post five custom Yolames in this similar style. Very simple, very innocent and sweet, uh, just adorable. And they're on Pure Nemo bodies. And he gifted me with one, so I'm so, so happy. Her name is Bunny. She came with um, uh, all of her different hand extensions and a little gift certificate and her headband, her whole outfit. I mean, she came full custom. And then last but not least for sure, this gorgeous girl is, um, the face up is by Charon Dolls. And I had commissioned Charon to do this doll for my friend Catherine. So true story, Catherine and I have been friends for several years. And I think we are about three years deep of forgetting to get Christmas presents for each other. So this is like three year culmination of Christmas presents. Uh, the wig is by Leak World that I bought from Denver Doll. The eye chips are from uh, Lullaby for Dolls. The dress is by Rev de Rui. I love, love, love this Etsy seller. The gloves and the um, stockings are from uh, The Daughter Who Sews. That is a US seller, one of my favorites. And then the shoes, if you can see those, are by Mori Time. And these were a little bit pricier than my normal, like, you know, I get them from Cool Cat or something, but they're so adorable and so detailed. So I'm excited to give her, finally give her her Christmas present after three years. <laughs> uh, and then last but not least, I have something very unusual. Uh, this is handmade remet. So Neri Pozo, as you probably know, is a wonderful doll customizer, but she's also really, really well known for her dioramas. And on Etsy, she is selling the prints of her uh, her pieces and they're I mean you I printed these on a little bit thicker paper and you can see it's like I think I got the bakery set and like the gift gift card set or the bookshop set and they come like this so they're, they're actually just flat sheets and you cut them out and really pretty self-explanatory because I'm not terribly crafty and it was so much fun putting these together. So that is my Dolly Finds video for July. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any fun sellers you want to share with me, we'd love to hear from you. Bye.